Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you love to shop Lux, welcome. I upload two new videos every week on designer handbags, shoes, and accessories to help you decide whether or not you want that item to be part of your collection. So please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a new video. Also, let's be friends on Instagram at shoplux, which I will be linking down below. So for today's video, we're going to do an unboxing or reveal of this Valentino shoes. I've had it since last year. It's very comfortable. I really loved it. It's just that I haven't done an unboxing on my channel. So I think that this is the perfect time because it's my fall shoes. So let's get right into it. The shoes that we are unboxing are from Valentino Garavani. It comes with a dust bag and it has a thick linen material. The tag says Valentino Garavani, made in Italy. It still has a tag on it. It also comes with extra rock studs. I'm glad that they always send a few extras just in case one or two would come off. And this other envelope is for the care cards. I ordered these shoes online, so they sent a package return label just in case I had to send them back. And here is the receipt. Oh, and so I ordered it on December 30th of last year. And it's a birthday gift to myself. And so this is the Valentino Rough Stud Chain Rose Print Ballerina in Black. Poetic Rose imagery designed in collaboration with Jun Takahashi of Undercover adorns the pointy toe of an iconic ballet flat in calfskin leather and signature pyramid studs. I love that they are so stylish, edgy, yet comfortable and easy to match with any outfit. The chain rose design is so pretty and makes it so unique and gorgeous. Remember to go a half size up because Valentino shoes run small. I normally wear a size 8 but for Valentino sandals and closed shoes, my size is 38 and a half. Okay, let's go ahead and try them on. For the wear and tear, I've worn them about three times already. I haven't used them ever since the lockdown though. They still look great and the soles have scratches and dents which are normal signs of usage. There are some creases in the front but not as noticeable and the studs are still in place. But usually people complain about scuffing on the top on the tip of their shoes. Um, yeah, the tips have scuffs. But that's fine with me. That's why I really take care of them. And I have shoes for every day and special occasion shoes just like this. So I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you my friends on the next one. Bye!